Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is a video about how to build a uh, PyTorch extension from scratch when your computer doesn't necessarily have the correct version of CUDA or PyTorch. I want to show how to build that environment uh, necessary to build this PyTorch extension, like Detectron 2, in one line by defining an Anaconda environment file that contains everything you need. So to start off, we'll uh, just give a quick overview of the example that I'm trying to build. Here, one of my projects has started using the Detectron 2 library, which as you can see in the installation instructions, requires some um, compilation. There's some code here that I believe writes CUDA files that have to be compiled on your local machine against the correct version of CUDA. And that, if you don't do correctly, can give you all kinds of obnoxious errors like this one here. Give me a second, I forgot to boost the font size. Um, shoot. And of course, I didn't have that ready. All right, so hopefully the font size here is not too much of a problem. But the important thing you're seeing is there's some errors like including the library and that library being missing because I may have had this library installed on my computer, but not with the correct version of CUDA. Uh, and the correct version of CUDA being the one that is the version that PyTorch is linked again. So it's all just a, a giant headache. So uh, what we're going to, what I ended up doing was building a Anaconda environments file, which contains all of those necessary resources. And it ends up looking like this. So I'll explain the few key parts of how to build this environment file in such a way that it has all of the necessary environments together to build Detectron 2. So let's go up to the top and start there. The um, first thing you'll notice here is I define the list of channels in a particular order with a particular flag. So let's take a look at what I'm doing here. First thing is I'm requesting that above all I want to get a package from the PyTorch channel if there are multiple availabilities. Now Anaconda has this lovely system where different providers of kind of Python packages and their related environments can have their own special channel. NVIDIA has one which we'll talk about in a minute. PyTorch has another and I want to ensure to get the official version of PyTorch from the PyTorch channel. You'll note here that I also flagged to get a specific version of CUDA compiled with that, or, or this version of PyTorch linked, again a specific, link, linked against a specific version of CUDA. That becomes important because the next thing that I do is I define a, another channel to pull data from. You can see I'm pulling from NVIDIA, specifically the CUDA 1.7.1 channel. So that means when I request specific libraries, like let's say the CUDA libraries that I need to have to compile Detectron 2, those are pulled from NVIDIA by default, and it's going to be a specific packet or against a specific version of CUDA. And I knew to do this by looking at the uh, documentation that uh, NVIDIA provides on how to install CUDA. One, uh, they actually recommend installing it via Anaconda, or as one of their particular uh, routes for getting it. And you can see that if you want to link against a previous CUDA version, in my case 1.17, uh, not 1.1, or 11.3, all you do is specify this label mechanism. And I can see that this gives uh, uh, correct linkages against uh, the NVIDIA environment. Let's look at uh, CUDA libraries dev on Anaconda. You can see that it's available through um, uh, NVIDIA's channel, and they have all of these labels that define specific versions of CUDA. And let's go back to my environments file. You can see I'm looking at label 11.7.1. So that's how I knew that these versions are get, going to get installed correctly. Uh, if we take a look, I also put some other build tools here. CMake 
uh, pi bind 11, which are also necessary for building uh, Detectron 2, even though I'll note that it wasn't listed in the requirements here. They tell you that you need uh, GCC and G++, but there are a few other things that are necessary. And that means that when I compile this environment, uh, let's list out what it has. Yeah, once I build it, you can see here, it, it one second to finish thinking. Yep, here are all of my CUDA components. They're all installed from NVIDIA. I've got PyTorch from PyTorch. It's linked against uh, CUDA 1.7, the same one that I downloaded those compilation tools against. And that was enforced because I told PyTorch I wanted CUDA version 11.7 by installing this uh, PyTorch CUDA package. So let's wrap this up. Let's go back to the environment file. I built to Tetron 2 from scratch by ensuring that my uh, in Conda environments file contains the libraries necessary to compile. Those are the NVIDIA compilers, the uh, development versions of the libraries. I need the development versions to compile, other miscellaneous tools. And all of this is built uh, ensuring I get the correct versions by specifying not just the correct in, uh, channel uh, from in Video, but also specifying a particular CUDA version to ensure that the CUDA version I'm getting for PyTorch and for all of these libraries are consistent with each other. So that's all of it. Um, that's how I was able to build a library uh, from scratch using an environment file and having it all work in a single command. So that's all for today. Uh, have a nice afternoon.